Good afternoon, YouTube. I have a wonderful recipe for you today, guys. We are going to get right in to the video. I have my ground beef right here, guys. We are going to get ready to prepare the ground beef. I have all of my season, my blend, my taco season. I have some, a pinch of salt, a little accent. I have some, um mess onions in this recipe i have my tacos i have the soft tacos the hard tacos and i have my nachos i have some fried beans here that we are going to prepare for our nachos we are going to get right into the video and i am going to show you my recipe okay guys we have our ground beef going here and i have a top on it guys because that is so much ground beef in that pan. I want to make sure it get good and done. So sometimes I use a top. So we're going to get into how I season my ground beef up. So we got our ground beef going here, guys. And we're going to flip it over. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put that season on this ground beef. We got our charcoal season. And we're just gonna let it cook into our meat. We're gonna mix well. Now guys, you can also wait until all your ground beef is done to add your season. But I like to do it like this because I am using a top. And I want it to, I want my season to cook into my ground beef. So we're just gonna let this ground beef cook until our ground beef get brown. I am gonna add the top onto this recipe. This recipe should take you about 20 25 minutes so we're gonna add the top on our ground beef and we're just gonna let it cook medium heat medium heat guys medium heat okay guys let's check on our ground beef going to flip it. All right, guys, we are getting there. We have all of our ground beef and we have our taco season and I mixed a little dash of salt accent. I got me some dry onions in this recipe. And we just gonna let it cook guys. And I am going to put the top back on our recipe. Also, guys, if you use a top, um, that'll help cook all that extra drippings off of your ground beef. And you could kind of drain some of that grease off of it. So I like to do it this way. And it always come out delicious. So we are almost there, and then we are going to mix up our fried beans and get that prepared for our nacho, because our nacho is going into the oven. So I am also going to show you how I put my nacho together and what I do before I put it in the oven. Also, the rest of my family can have 
tacos if they like. So what I like about this recipe is I am cooking two meals in one. I am preparing my nachos and I am preparing my ground beef for my tacos. Okay guys, we're gonna let this cook for about 10 more minutes and then we are going to um, put our fried beans and our ground beef together for our nacho. Okay guys, I am going to go ahead and I am going to take some of the grease off the top of my meat. And this is all you have to do, guys. Just kind of, you don't want to feed that to your family, so you might want to do this, or you might have to do it. Sometimes you get some really good beef where you don't have to do this at all. And guys, I didn't put any water in this recipe. This is pretty much grease on top of this ground beef, so you have to kind of remove some of this grease. You don't want to give it to your family. I send my son out, Lamont, to buy me some ground beef to make me some tacos. And this is what I got. So we're going to work with it. I'm going to thank him for going shopping for me. I did thank him for going shopping for me. But I am also going to share why I am doing this for my friends that don't know. This is all great guys, so we don't want that off of there. We don't want to share that with our family. So once you do that and you get as much as you can off, then you can do a taste test and see do you need some more season and if not then your recipe is done and now i am going to get into my refried my fried beans we're going to add that to the recipe for the nachos okay guys i am going to set my ground beef aside and then we are going to put our recipe together for our nachos. Okay guys, I have a real small skillet here because I'm not going to make that much. So what we're going to do first, we're going to add a little of that grease that we took off of our ground beef and we're going to add that into the recipe and we're just going to put our fried beans in there and let it cook kind of mix it around a little bit Now guys, you can make your own, you could do like some dry beans and make your own fried beans. It's pretty much up to you what you like. So what I am going to do, I am going to add a couple spoonful of my ground beef because this is going on my nacho. And next well, guys. So what we are going to do, we are going to cut this down and let this cook for about five or ten minutes on medium heat. And then we'll be ready to put our recipe together. Guys, I will come back and let you see how our recipe came out.
God bless you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. So this is your ground beef and your refried beans. Mix well, guys. You don't want no lumps in it. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it on a nacho. And I'm going to come back and let you see what I did with this wonderful recipe. See you next time. God bless you guys. Okay guys, we are gonna go ahead and put a layer of cheese on our nacho, cause we're gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. So we have our fried beans ground beef and our nachos and we just gonna put this in the oven and just let our cheese melt guys and then you can add you some onions green onions maybe some peppers on the recipe We just go ahead and let this bake for about 10 minutes. And I'll be back and let you see how our wonderful nacho came out, guys. <laughs> 